quick scout from the top. It's pretty big and scary. Holy smokes. What is going on guys? It is Alex here with Northern Scavenger and we are out here for another exciting adventure this weekend. Uh, I'm joining up with some good friends of mine to run the Petawawa River in the northeastern side of Agonquin, a classic whitewater trip uh, from Traverse Lake to McManus Lake. Um, I've wanted to do this for a really long time and I couldn't have found a better group of people to do it with. Uh, all very experienced whitewater paddlers and uh, this is going to be my first time soloing my 16 foot prospector, so I'm pretty stoked for that. The nerves are high as you'd expect, but uh, I think they're appropriate. We're going to be careful as always. Stay tuned. I think we got a good one here for you. Our official shuttle woman. Hello, buddy! Yeah. Well, we appreciate the shuttle. Yeah, you take it. No one better to see us off. Katie, Sean, ready for action? Absolutely. Hoping we will be. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. That's when all the real action is going to happen. It is, truly. <laughs> we got headwinds today. That'll be fun. That <laughs> That'll be, be some uh, action. Might be fun for you in the solo canoe. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing some of this essential outrigging right now. Did you bring any? Uh, nope. <laughs> But just the 16 foot, I'm doing it classic style. Are you just gonna, you're just gonna kneel like straight yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Graham is gonna be kayaking. Definitely the one with the most whitewater experience on the trip. How many times have you run this now? This will be number three. Third For time. This section. For the other two sections, hundreds. <laughs> is this like considered the middle? Yeah. Did you say it's impossible, you can't do the full? You can't do the full section. So a part of this river goes to the army base so it's restricted. So oh, that's right. everybody can only do the upper, middle, and then town section. So you can't go top to confluence. Gotcha. Does it take some getting used to uh, paddling white water with like camping gear, like fully loaded? Um, your maneuverability goes down, but you, you're you super stable because you're sitting lower in the water and you have so much momentum, you just pile through everything. Gotcha. But you don't go around, you just go through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't jinx me. Our first night was an easy one. The headwinds weren't as bad as expected, and we had a beautiful sunset paddle. Now, we just had to find an available campsite. At least another 20 minutes, half an hour, and then we'll, they, they're on the, is it on the left shore? Yeah. Uh, it was like 3K, and then to one, and then another K to the second one. Hopefully one of those is uh, good to go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess another like couple K after that. <laughs> Sweet! It look, looks good? Yeah. Awesome. Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, definitely. We have a nice river flowing through behind our site. Nice little trickle. Oh, this guy's ready to go. I'm no rookie. B bug net on. I'm actually like going back to walk just to go get that right now. <laughs> so I decided I was sleeping no fly tonight, but I still want to connect it. Just in case I have to make a quick decision in the middle of the night, it's easy to pull up and over my tent still. I don't think I'll be pulling it up though, it's still really hot out. Oh, cozy. It's a cool bug net design too, like how it just drapes down. Yeah, they don't make this one anymore. No? But I really like being able to stand up and get changed and stuff. Yeah, for sure, you get like a little zone in there. It's sweet. I always figured if I brought a dog camping and they could just sleep on underneath. True, yeah. And then they could be sane from the bugs as well. Yep. 
Muss es sein? That smells so good already. Let's see what we got going on in the kitchen over here. Some chicken fajitas. Oh my gosh. With the fixins. Holy dig smokes, in look at this. Guacamole. Dig, dig in before the bugs get her. Katie doesn't mess around in the back well, No, that's... That's a serious backcountry meal right here. We, we might not be packing light, but we're eating well, that's for sure. <laughs> we don't have the portage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to run all the rapids. situation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. I just feel like the angle of the fence all cuts on. Yeah, I've got on a bit of an angle. Like, it's I little. We, no, I used that for years, and then until I, like, got this one, and it was just... Game changer? Game changer, yeah. I mean, they both work, so the Spence saw I would, like, put next on my list. It's another great saw. We got the chefs back in the kitchen this morning. He's the main chef. I'm just the uh, the sous chef. Sous chef. He's the egg cooker. The egg cooker. Well, <laughs> hopefully they'll turn out. Maybe one day you'll be on bacon. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a pretty good dinner last night, I think. So we'll just try to keep the train rolling for a big day today. Bakey. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. And the avocado too, nice touch. You gotta. You just have to, you know? <laughs> These are like fancy meals, but like they were so quick to prepare. Yeah, we you guys did a lot of pre work. Katie did a lot of pre work. <laughs> but no, it's good. It's this worth is kind it when of, you're here. <laughs> we do mostly like these type of weekend trips and it ends up being being perfect because like we don't really need to dehydrate food just because we're not really that limited for space and then if we like pre-make the bacon and just have the eggs and an algae, it ends up being super quick and pretty much. And you much get like a as, solid breakfast. Yeah, just as good as a breakfast as you you eat at home, really. For sure. There's one mean looking wrap. Oh yeah. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Wow, we do pig. So good. Who's ready for some rapids? <laughs> All right, we are off, making our way down to hit some rapids.
Canoe looks like it's seen better days. We continued downriver, hitting a number of small swifts before arriving at Crooked Shoot Rapids, a set we knew we would want to portage. Crooked shoot right now, and uh, Graham is going to be running down in the kayak. But I think we're going to be uh, skipping most of the meat on this one because it's pretty gnarly. And uh, we're going to put it in at the bottom, but there's still some uh, fun to be had at the very bottom, so it'll be interesting. Big wave train should be good. I'm just doing a quick scout from the top just to see what we got going on at the bottom of Cricket Shoot Rapids. And uh, it's pretty big and scary. Gotta make sure that we get left on this one and uh, get ready to brace a little bit. A couple like small little ledges and some holes that I gotta avoid. This one definitely gets the heart going.
we're trying to figure out where we're gonna have lunch. Yeah. And my vote. My vote's just a float. Game. Take advantage of river current. Yeah. Get around the. Just get around the corner where it's flowing a little bit faster, and then it's moving decently right yeah, here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I could use a good float. I'm still pretty fired up from that last time. Pretty fired up too. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't bring the okay, heart rate I, down. Like, yeah, my, my hand's shaking. I didn't know if I was the only <laughs> uh, one. I was like, is anybody else? Stomach kind of wild. Hopefully the camera is stabilized, eh? Yeah. The lens, the lens, and internally. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even when I was scouting, I was like, uh, so I'm gonna try to hit this. <laughs> I have a few we filming did a nice you where I was like, I see you get a rock, and I was kind of doing like the, what is he doing? All right, I'm filming. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? All right, no, I'm filming. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Because he can't see the little screen. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because you're tough. trying to be like safety at the same time yeah. and like. <laughs> The, the fine line between uh, getting it on film and like yeah. making should I, sure should I put the camera away? No, it's okay. You, like, <laughs> you can do something if you, something happens. But, or if you I was basically it. accepting that like if something happened to me, I was on my own because you were going to be capturing it on film. <laughs> and, and we were bailing out our canoe from yeah. like all the water. Yeah. I was like, no. If you really needed it, I would have put the camera away. Yeah, yeah thanks, man. I really need them. Graham, this is not the time anymore. Yeah. I know I told you I was fine. <laughs> oh, look at the carnage. Wow. Yeah. What? Wow, he's getting destroyed in there. <laughs> Someone should probably help him. <laughs> I haven't had a solid float lunch in a while. Red. Yeah. I'm into this. Some chicken. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a sea chicken right there. That's a sea chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. Just downstream, there's a uh, there's a couple rocks, and this rapid is just it's just long, and there's also a tree down about uh, like a third of the way down. You have to get right, then we'd have to work back left to avoid this hole. So we're thinking uh, we're thinking we might portage it today just because it's just a little sketchy. I think we <laughs> You weren't feeling it, eh? After scouting a little bit further, this tree behind us right here is the one that we were like sketched out about. And we were thinking about putting, this is just like one really long rapid that freaks me out a little bit. Like if, if my boat fills with too much water and I'm, I'm like a bathtub going down, I'm just going to submarine and it's going to be really hard for me to maneuver. It's a really, really long rapid. So between the tree and the length, and me not having a spray deck, probably not a great idea to be running it.
Got a fish. I'm very curious what this is. Yeah, it's a good sized pickerel, I think. Oh, man. Cool. Yo, it's a catfish. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Pretty much have to do it in the spring. Holy smoke. Oh. See ya. <laughs> cool. Now Onwards. Get, now we get to my water. Not quite dinner, but pretty neat. Yeah. Not as good as a pickerel would have been. Oh no. One that was closest to what? So there's, there's a trail that goes up to the top of those cliffs. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. That cliff was bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not the main one. Oh, really, eh? Yeah, over on the right. Holy, like... <laughs> yeah, we have to climb that. <laughs> Alright, so I think we just found our site for the night. They're stuck here. And it comes with a view. We're thinking of hiking up there later on tonight. This is some history right here. All right, so it's around four o'clock right now and we just made it to our premium campsite here for the night. Really doesn't get much better than this. No complaints for me. <laughs> no way. Eh? I have bug spray and a bug net in my backpack. Sandals might have been a bad idea. Holy moly. That's so cool, you can see the rapids. Wow. That is very cool. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't think I want to get much closer to the edge. <laughs> you reckon we're only halfway up? I think so. I'm pretty sure this is that first bit of uh, like slab that wow. we saw when we were canoeing, and then Graham was like, yeah, that's not even a big one. Oh, it's nice. small blueberry. You should have camped up here. <laughs> Shoddy not getting water. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. oh you can see.
4.92, I'd probably drop it down to like maybe four and a half. Yeah. After an amazing day on the river, the perfect way to end it was with a view like this. While we had covered a lot of the white water already, there was still some more fun to be had downriver. Back in the kitchen, folks. <laughs> Some pulled pork, oh, salad. What do we got? Ziggy's creamy potato salad. Looks this is like, like the guy underneath the table right now reaching yeah, up. Yeah. On yeah. Top. What do we got up here? Who is this? <laughs> Little gremlin hand. Yeah. I think it's done. I think we're good. I'm gonna turn this off. It looks awesome. We're gonna be snacking on pulled pork in front of this massive cliff face tonight. Oh, no biggie. Like, there's no. not a better place to eat pulled pork. I don't think. <laughs> Man, this is pretty epic campsite. Like, maybe on the moon. Awesome, but we're maybe not there. maybe on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh know. my god, this looks amazing. <laughs> I think you have been our soul. Uh, like I think every time you've had a wrap, I've yeah, felt, you would be like, eating it. It's so much pressure, man. Can't take it. <laughs> you've been the wrap guy. And then yeah, you have to be careful not to uh, contaminate it with the. Uh... Your presentation's gotten better though. Has it? <laughs> You're just saying that to, to you know, For the not shot. make not make me nervous about the uh, spilling something. Oh my god. We earned it today. Super solid. Absolutely. Oh my god. I don't see no rainbows or lollipops. I just feel like, well, this does seem pretty extremely far right, so maybe, <laughs> maybe let's. I was like confident for like a good 15 seconds. <laughs> My knees, my knees, my knees are humming. <laughs> I 
So we've been crushing distance so far today. We've had, we've been lucky enough to have a tailwind on some of the bigger lakes that we've been paddling and just a lot of long swifts and class ones and uh, it's just, we've been motoring along. So we're making good time. Another beautiful day out. Just doesn't get much better than this. Maybe the uh, pits on this shirt won't smell so bad when they come out. Yeah. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> no way. You just add the river stank to your personal stank. The river tank. Oh, this is like a full reset right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard not to feel stoked after a trip like this. I was nervous to be soloing Whitewater for the first time, but felt I did well on many of the sets. While I definitely have room for improvement, there are a lot of future trips to worry about that. This is quite the welcoming committee that you've rounded up. We made it. And dogs. And dogs. <laughs> 